get ready start i crave the indulgence of the house for making this statement on the opening day of the parliament as i wish to take honorable members into confidence at the earliest opportunity about the extremely difficult foreign exchange position in which we find ourselves at present our foreign exchange reserves have declined more or less steadily during the current fiscal year some decline during the months of april to september when export receipts are usually low is a normal feature of our balance of payments the decline in reserves during april to september 2004 however was almost twice as large as in the same period of 2003 the decline in reserves have continued during the past 4 or 5 months when we should normally be gaining reserves in order to meet the requirements of the coming lean season for exports on february 12 2005 the foreign assets of the reserve bank stood at about rupees 7000 crores as honorable members are aware the reserve bank is required to hold a minimum rupees 8000 crores of reserve in the form of gold and foreign securities the reserve bank has been able in fact to abide by this requirement for some time only on the basis of a transfer to the bank of gold which the government had acquired over the years the recent decline in reserves is the result of a variety of factors in view of shortages of food grains in the country and the pressure on prices we have had to provide for larger imports of food and fertilizers against free foreign exchange payments on account of defense imports have also been increasing and we have had to provide for larger payment obligations in respect of the growing volume of our indebtedness abroad while exports have been rising the increase this year had not been as large as in 2003 to 4 and it has not been reflected fully in the receipt of foreign exchange apart of the increase in exports has been to countries with whom settlements in trade and payments are made in rupees there is reason to believe that export earnings have been lower because of higher interest rates elsewhere a part of the decline in reserves may therefore be short term in character and may be expected to reverse itself first and foremost we have to reduce inflationary pressures in the economy the strictest fiscal and monetary discipline has to be observed in the interest 
both of stability of prices and of improvement in the payments position the budget of the central government for the year 2005 to 6 will be announced in 10 days from now and i do not wish to say anything about this at this stage but it is clear that the financial operations of the central and state governments as well as those of public and private sector enterprises will necessarily have to be guided by the overriding consideration of avoiding inflation i have taken this up with the state governments and i have no doubt that in the present grave situation i can count on their whole hearted cooperation on the monetary side several measures have been taken during the past year to bring about an orderly increase in interest rates and to slow down the pace of monetary expansion the reserve bank has just announced further measures to this end the bank rate has been increased from 5% to 6% coupled with this the terms governing the rates at which scheduled banks are eligible to borrow from the reserve bank have been made stiffer banks will be able to borrow at the bank rate only when their net liquidity ratio comes to 30% or more as against 28% at present the borrowing rate of the individual scheduled bank will increase by 1 by 2% for every 1% decline in its liquidity ratio below 30% the reserve bank have also taken steps to make appropriate changes in other interest rates in the economy thus banks have been asked to raise the interest rates on their term deposits as well as savings bank deposits the ceiling limit to the lending rates of banks has been raised from 10% to 15% the reserve bank lending rate to cooperative banks would also now be higher by 1% appropriate changes in other interest rates including those paid and charged by government and other financial institutions are also being made <clears throat> these measures should limit the expansion of bank credit and bring about an appreciable reduction in inflationary pressures in general by increasing a greater flow of savings and a greater sense of economy in the use of scarce capital resources full stop